Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Cinematic and I am using my dollar microphone again. Just checking it out over a commentary because uh I used it on a vlog, it sounded pretty fucking good. But uh this gameplay is uh my buddy Wack4863. Good friend of mine, I'm gonna link him in the description. And if you guys didn't know, a lot of times I put links in the description. They're they're the same usually, but uh sometimes I change them up. So always make sure to check the description, especially if you see that it is not me playing. I'm in this game though. But uh Josh actually did way better than me. I think he went fifty two and twelve or some shit like that. Just running around, basically having fun. I mean that's really all I do on Modern Warfare three. Any video game I really play, I play it for fun. I don't give a fuck about K D and stuff for the most part. Um Honestly, I'd have more fun going negative all night playing with my friends than being a super tryhard going positive playing by my damn self. But, you know, that's just, I've always been like that. Um, but anyways, you know, in this video I'm going to talk about, probably ramble on about a couple of different things. One thing is, and you know, it sounds like I'm crying and complaining all the time. I'm really not. I, I really don't care. I'm going to continue to do the same shit that I'm doing regardless, but... I noticed that uh, every time I put up one of my crazy videos that I don't know if people just don't get it or if they're like, that's not what I subscribe for or whatever, but you know, I'm not going to change that. I'm going to keep putting up crazy videos because I enjoy putting up crazy videos. I enjoy doing commentaries like this. I enjoy doing conspiracy time. All the stuff that I do, I enjoy doing. So I'm going to keep doing it regardless. But you know, I just want to point out, I noticed that as soon as I put up the wonderful uh, world of women's anatomy or whatever, the first one. Uh, I lost like 20 subs. And, and you know, if you guys don't want to watch that, then just don't don't click on it. Because I've got, uh, it's only, uh, I think, a five or six part series and it'll be done. Um, not sure exactly how I'm going to put that up yet. I'm trying to get a good schedule. So uh, I noticed that most of the guys that watch my video are from Texas and Cali. So I've been trying to upload my videos at 5 p.m. my time, which is 3 p.m. their time. And um, I guess that's probably the best time to upload my main video, which usually, most of the time, my main video will be a uh, commentary like this because I know other than the music stuff that this is one of the main reasons that people subscribe to hear me talk about whatever. Um, and I'm probably, like I said, uh, this is Josh's gameplay, and I got a couple other people sent me some gameplay. And if you would like to donate gameplay for me to, you know, commentate over or whatever, all you have to do is YouTube message me with the unlisted link to the video, and um, I'll go check it out. And I don't, I don't really talk over anything that's not HD, because if that's the case, I just go grab my gameplay. And the reason that I'm even asking you guys if you want to send me gameplay is because that's an easy way for me to, uh, you know, say, hey, go check out so-and-so's page. This is them actually playing the fucking game. And, uh... In return, I will also possibly be able to stack up some of my own gameplays for some respawn projects I have. And, you know, just to keep content coming out all the time. I, I don't really get good gameplays every single day. I usually get them in spurts. I'll get like five games at once, and then I'll go like a fucking week going negative, and then I'll get five or ten games or whatever. But, you know, in order for me to continue to put out, you know, as much content as I do, I could, you know, go in there and dashboard every other game until I got gameplays, but I'm not going to do all that shit because I've always, I'm always playing in a party. I enjoy playing this game with my friends. Um, but, as in gaming as a whole, I played some uh, Zelda 2 for about an hour tonight. I streamed it too. If you guys have never been to my stream, you know, I'd be streaming every day, almost. But, um, you know, just having some fun playing around on Zelda 2. Uh, I didn't capture any gameplay from it yet. I don't know if anybody wants to see that shit. Um, I noticed, like, I, I posted some Zelda 2, like, last, early, early last year. And it only got, like, 200 views a video. That's when I was getting over 1,000 views per video. So, I don't know. I, I might post some Zelda 2. Might even play some fucking old school, like, Mario 1 or something. I don't know. I'm an old school motherfucker, and I like playing, um older games still and the funny thing is I kind of skipped over uh, most of it Nintendo 64 and most of PlayStation 1 and even most of PlayStation 2 I didn't play and I'm new to PlayStation 3 and my PlayStation 3 is fucked up 
<clears throat> I was late to the party on Xbox 360 even. So, you, you know what I mean? There's so many older games that I missed out on that I might end up going back and playing some of those. I, I just don't know yet. I, I'm still enjoying, like I said, I still enjoy Modern Warfare 3. I've had the urge to go back and play Black Ops a few times. But uh, I always get stuck going back and playing by myself. And I don't play well by myself because I play Domination a lot. And if my teammates aren't capturing flags, then I will go die a hundred times to capture the flag. Because I like to win. I like to win over anything. So, you know. But, fuck. Like, I'm telling you, like, the new year started. And I had all these ideals of commentaries I wanted to do. And then it's like, I, I need to start writing shit down. Not, not the whole commentary, but just the ideals. Because, look, there I am capping the flag with him. But... When it comes time to do the commentaries, a lot of times I'll be forgetting, like, what the fuck I'm going to talk about. I know one thing that I haven't even talked about yet in this commentary that I know that, you know, is important to me. And I know I got some guys that watch all my videos that actually give a fuck about what goes on in my life. But anyways, right now, I just signed up this week for uh, my new school stuff. Got my books. Uh, you know what's funny? I don't even know. I know I'm taking Accounting 101, Business 101. Intro to microcomputers because I dropped it last time and then math something like 118 or something. And I have to look. I'm going to look through my shit because I don't want to take any more math classes. And this is a required class. So hopefully, hopefully I pass this easily the first time. They said it's easier than the algebra shit I just passed. And uh, yeah, hopefully I don't have to take any more math classes because I fucking hate taking math classes. I really do. Um... And I think this one's going to be more into, like, uh, percentages and stuff. So that that shouldn't be too bad. Um, might take me, like, a couple days to remember how to do the percentages. I'm pretty sure I remember how to do them, like, right off the top of my head. So, you know, business 101 sounds easy because, you know, anything that's just 101, I, I would think it would be pretty easy. Accounting 101, you know, I, as bad as I don't want to take this, some of these classes, like, Honestly, an accounting 101 class is something I probably need to take for my personal life. Maybe I can get myself into uh, setting up some kind of budget. You know what I mean? Like getting my financial shit on track because I have no budget at all. I got that, That's a good thing to finish off probably talking about. Um, and a lot of people have it, and it's called it's called a it's called a poor man's mentality. And basically, anyone that's like me that kind of you know. Not necessarily struggle growing up financially, but, you know, their parents never had a lot of money, lived check to check, things like that. You get yourself into this poor man's mentality to where once you get an extra $20, you think of all the things that you couldn't afford to do. Like, you know what I mean? Like, say I get, okay, say I get my bills paid and I got $100 left. The first thing I think is... What haven't I done that I want to do? Oh, I haven't went out to eat. Well, I can't just go to McDonald's. I have to go to, like, a fancy restaurant and pay $20, $30 a person or something. Um, or, oh, I haven't rented a movie. Even though you can watch Netflix, you know, I got all that shit. I haven't rented a movie. Let me go see what movies are out. And then, you know, if I see something out that uh, isn't on, you know, my Showtime or Netflix or something, you know, I'll rent that. You know, I know it's, it doesn't sound like a lot, but... Um, once you combine two or three small things like that, y you'll, you'll be broke. Uh, gummy worms, like gummy worms. I love gummy worms. And uh, when I'm broke, I might go a couple weeks without buying any because I'm like, fuck, I can't go spend, you know, $4 on gummy worms. I, I got to pay bills or whatever. So then, you know, that'll be, oh, I got an extra $50. First thing I'm probably going to buy is uh, something to eat, some gummy worms, uh, something silly like that. But... You know, people that aren't, not necessarily rich, but aren't, you know, hurting for money ever, they think completely different. They, uh, their thoughts are, yeah, you know, I got fucking $500 in my pocket, but, you know, what do I really need to spend that on? I don't need shit. Uh, movies, I can go to the movies anytime. You know, go out to eat, that's eh, whatever, I'll cook something at home. Like, I'm telling you, people that are not necessarily well off, but, you know, have been raised with a decent, you know, middle class uh family or whatever they think differently about money than than poor broke bastards like me they uh they save money <laughs> i have not saved money 
I, I'm gonna tell you guys, I promise you, like, it's it sounds crazy, but I, I've never really saved a lot of money because um there's a lot of big stuff that I wanna buy. Like if I got five thousand bucks right now, um <clears throat> I would pay up all my bills or whatever, and then as soon as those bills were paid up, I'd be thinking, uh matter of fact, I, I'll tell you guys what I want that's expensive that I probably won't get for it'll be outdated by the time I get it. But there's an eighty inch uh I think it's a Samsung 80 inch LCD and it's like one of the real thin TVs 80 fucking inch I think it might be the first one that is that small like as in you know it's only like three inches wide or whatever and it looks fucking amazing I bet you it's like four thousand bucks and if I had you know six thousand right now I'd pay all my bills up and I'd probably go buy it but um that if that's <laughs> something I've struggled with for a long time but you know I've managed to get by this long. The game's fucking over. But if you like the video, guys, please leave a like, favorite. I know you guys probably hate me asking you to do that, but some people have told me that they forget to do it unless I ask them. So uh, we'll try it out. And um, tweet it out for me, all that good stuff. Go check out Josh's page again. Like I said, he's going to be in the description. I'm out. Peace.